So we have some new products coming up from our brand, uh, Dynamic Tactical, DITAC. The first is uh, these three sets of M-Lock rail panels. Now these rail panels have the proper M-Lock logos, as we already have the Magpul license uh, for the M-Lock system directly from Magpul Industries. And they'll come as a pack like so, with two five uh, slot pieces and one seven slot piece. Now these also come in different colors. Uh, right now we have black and FDE. Now within these panels, we have a little cutout here. You can, people can put uh, thread wiring through it um, as a wire management tool, besides this being a Picatinny rail and M-Lock adapter. Now our second product is our upcoming Evo rail. Now these Evo rails come in 13.75 inch long and 9.75 inch long. And these two rails also have uh, two different versions. One will be the standard full Picatinny uh, rail top rail handguard. And the other version is what we call the light version, which has a cutout here, which also fits M-Lock um, panels or M-Lock accessories. Uh, but you may have to grind down these nuts a bit in order to make it fit this um, area. Now, speaking of the Evo rails, we also have a full AG coming out. This one. This is our new Evo AG. Now, besides the Evo rail, and as you can see with the special 13.75 inch rail length, uh, it covers all the way up to the flash hider, so no exposed barrel sticks out. This will be also be only made in M-Lock. We all have different colors uh, as with our other products. And we also have our new Evo AG stock. Now the stock is a PDW stock. It allows you to get a very aggressive stance with the rifle by putting your body closer to the receiver. It allows easier reloading, reloading and clear, room clearing with a smaller profile overall. But if you're a bigger person than I am and you don't like to use a stock um, collapse all the way in. There are options, you can pull this out like so and you'll pull it out farther up to here like so. The battery goes in through the buffer tube. The buffer tube is unscrewed. And I'll show you a bit. You gotta press these two buttons, pull the stock out and then undo the buffer tube where you can put a battery into it. Once you put a battery into it, you just tighten the tube back and put the stock plate back onto the stock. Now, what's special about this PDW stock compared to other stocks out in the market today is you don't need to press the button in order to extend the stock. All you have to do is just pull the stock back and it extends, but it locks in all the way. Un unless you want to pull in another, uh, you want to pull it out a bit further, then you just do it again and it locks in again well, without issues. Now also debuting in this video is our upcoming HexMag licensed product. Now this HexMag is um, a high capacity version. It fits around 300 to 350 rounds. Um, and it's a flash mag, meaning that you use a pull string in order to wind up the magazine. So you feed the BBs through the slot here, like other usual high capacity magazines. But you press the button down here you can push the plate forward. Now the plate is locked in, so you, you can't lose the plate. And once you expose the bottom part of the magazine, there's a little pull string tab here, that you need to pull and wind up your magazine. Finally, we also have our HexMag magazine stand. Now this is just a prototype. We might do some hexagon design around the base plate, but um, it fits a HexMag, it fits a real one, if it's a uh, um, an airsoft one. We also have another version which is a standard NATO magazine. Um, these are great for people who want to put their rifles up as part of a display or um, you know yeah put it out for display. I don't know what else you would do with it but yeah. Um, yeah so that's pretty much it. So the new Evo rifle, the new uh, Evo rails, Evo stock, um, our magpul accessories, and our new Hexmag high cap magazine.
Thanks.